Like every other young boy, my dream was once to become a famous soccer player. So, so, there I am, this young, excited, motivated young little soccer player at the age of eight trying to become this famous soccer player. Uh, I looked up to players such as Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo, um, and it all started out when we lived in Stuttgart, and I went to selection trainings to join these top teams. Later, when we moved to other cities, I kept trying my best, as it was still my aim to get into these top professional teams. But over the years, as I became a teenager, I noticed this would not become true because there are so many amazing young soccer players out there that I would not really have a chance. However, I still carried on playing soccer. And so far, I've played in five different teams. So, oops. Um, yeah, so as I grew up and came into middle school, I came to the Franconia International School in grade five. But the first three years I played at in Herzog Alva, but our team wasn't really the best. <laughs> but then in 2008, when the school moved to Erlangen, I joined the soccer club just across the road from here. And it's funny, I, I went to a selection training for the under 15 year olds at the age of 13. I was the youngest player to a fine. And I made it, so I was the youngest player. And in that same year, we managed to advance into the second highest division in Bavaria, where we would play against top teams such as FC Nürnberg. It was during that year as well that I was seen by a Nürnberg scout, and he asked me to, if I wanted to join their team to play for them. Unfortunately, they didn't want to pay me enough, so I had to decline. But... <laughs> I was actually a year too old for them. But the following year I joined the, I went to a selection training for the under 17 year olds at the age of 15 and I was again the youngest and um, in that year we also again made it into the second highest division in Bavaria again. So there's us celebrating after our last game um, where we drew names out of the hat who would play where. And we still managed to win 2 to 0. So it was a pretty successful game and a successful season. Um, so then about two years ago, I was asked by the head of the Elangen club if I would like to become a trainer, uh, a coach. And I was supposed to become a coach of the under 11 year olds. And these were the raw beginners of their age group. But I must say these, are, these were the most excited and motivated and definitely most entertaining group of soccer kids I've ever seen. Um, so I saw it as a challenge to coach them and to teach them all the skills they needed to become great soccer players. But this was the greatest challenge I ever faced. I had to organize the trainings, when we, when we meet, where we meet, I had to decide what we do for training. When it came to games, I had to make sure they know and I had to make sure their parents know. Um, trainers from other, from the competitive teams, would call, would call me um, discussing organizational issues and I had to make sure that I communicated with the head of our club regarding field bookings, competitions, indoor trainings and you know, there, was, there was a great load of responsibility that I had to deal with but I must say it was definitely worth it these kids because it was so amazing and just so funny. <clears throat> so, soccer is a major part of who I am, but it's definitely not one of the only sports that, I've, uh, that I'm interested in. I've enjoyed participating in a variety of different kinds of sports, such as snowboarding, sailing, and only since about a year ago, the gist. So snowboarding, unlike soccer, which is a team sport, it's an individual sport. You create your style and you choose what boundaries you want to like go to. So here I, I've my first ever trial, uh, 360 spin in the air. Uh, the first few didn't go well, but um, once you have successfully done a 360 spin or maybe like a grab jump in the air, your self-confidence just boosts and you challenge yourself to jump further, jump higher. You want to learn new tricks. Uh, you want to impress the other group of snowboarders that are around you at the fun park, who usually in my case are always the better ones. But <laughs> uh, 
but I mean, I have failed a lot of times and I just looked embarrassing, but that did not stop me. I, like, I tried to do my best and I kept trying. And um, I was determined to succeed, so, which then also reflects in your everyday life, especially in school. So, sailing, which is another great sport where you definitely feel free, um, is, yeah, um, I did my cruise certificate uh, three years ago in Mallorca, and since then I have sailed in Australia around the Whitsunday Islands, I've sailed in Turkey and in Greece. And I've also skippered a 40 foot, a 40 foot boat around the Medi Mediterranean. But yeah, my, my family was there to help, but <laughs> <laughs> at, at, times, at times we did have wild, strong winds and we were in situations that just seemed dangerous or scary. But so yeah, um, this, this, this sport definitely relies on quick decisions and definitely on teamwork because only the team can sail. <laughs> but all in all, it is the best if you just try to enjoy the moment and sail. So, the GIST is the German International School Sports Tournament, where international schools all over Germany participate in sporting events and compete against each other. Um, I joined the soccer team, of course, but I also took a risk and tried sports I haven't tried, like basketball or track and field. But it was definitely worth it because it, it gave me the opportunity to travel, to stay at host families, uh, to compete in sports I haven't done before. I've, I enjoy uh, playing with my friends as a team, but the most important thing is I learn new friends that go to other schools. So, what have these sports given me? Well, my personality has definitely been influenced and changed. Uh, soccer, as well as the gist, have made me become a team player, a, a sportsman. They have, me, they have let me increase my physical fitness, as well as my discipline. Um, coaching has taught me to deal with responsibility, how to be organized, uh, and how to communicate with people I only just met. Uh, snowboarding has made me become the person who strives to succeed and is determined to do so. I've learned to be creative and never to limit my boundaries. Sailing has taught me to think on my feet, to be courageous. But, so the sports in general have broadened my horizons and have given me the skills that will be valuable to my future life and career. So, that was me. Now who are you? <laughs>